436 flagpole. The height uh, or the anchor point in the cable machine or band is going to be about head height. Okay. The grip is going to be monkey grip, wider than shoulder width. Your stance, you're going to start in a wide stance, low center of mass. So that means that you're going to be nimble at the ankle, knees, and hip. Okay. You're going to sit kind of low. You're going to raise the bar in front of you, okay, and above your head. Give me, show them what I mean in front of you. See the distance here? Okay, you don't want it over your head. You want it in front and about, about, uh, right above your head, okay? Now, this movement requires a push and a pull component, meaning that your outside uh, arm is going to pull in the direction that the bar is going to travel, okay? And the push is going to come from the inside arm, and it's going to be a 90 degree angle, you know, of your forearm hitting the bar constantly at 90 throughout that angular motion. Let me show you. Step out a little bit, okay? So I lift the waist back, and your, my shoulder, my hip, and my back foot is going to pivot, okay, like so. And notice that my right arm is pushing uh, 90 degrees throughout the whole movement, okay. And you finish right here where your, ar your arms are parallel to the ground. And notice that the cable is at 90 to the bar, okay. That's where you finish. Notice my stance. My shoulder and my hips are square. My back foot it, or my back toes are pointing to my front or straight to the front and back heel is up. Okay. Notice the bar here is in an angle. It's not vertical. Okay. You don't need to bring it to vertical. Okay. So in other words, you don't want your arms to cross to the other side. Alright. Just keep it right here. So that, that way you keep your shoulders neutral. So when you're here, you can keep that this stance, okay? Now, you don't have to go back to the start uh, start position. You can just stay in the split stance. And then from here, you, you swing your arms back and rock your hip forward. See that movement right there? And then reverse the movement on the way forward. Okay. See how my hips rock forward and my arm goes back? And then I pull, push. Finish here. Notice that my right elbow always stays behind, at or behind my wrist. You never want to bring that elbow forward. Okay. Now, if you're here, you are pulling. Okay. If you're pulling, you're going to feel uh, discomfort on your shoulder and your elbow. You see, this is already painful. You see that? Okay. You're putting yourself in the armbar. So you want to avoid that. You want to come right here. Okay. Remember, rotation um, is a product of pulling and pushing. Okay, that's why we we like this grip here. Okay, so one more time, I'm going to swing my arms, pull, push, and then rock my my um, uh, hip backwards as I swing forward. Okay, so besides besides bringing the elbow forward, okay, as a mistake, but that's not desirable. Another common mistake is I see. Uh, some fitness professional teaching a, a, a similar movement this way, like throwing an axe. Okay. Well, because we have a load that we're trying to counter, this movement here, just this, you're putting yourself also in another pulling situation, meaning you're pulling here and now you're pulling here. Okay. Pull, pull, it's really hard to perform that this angular motion, the flag pull uh, motion. Just holding the bar and trying to hold that way, I already feel, I mean, I already feel that somebody's putting an arm bar. Okay. So I totally discourage this grip, the underhand grip for the flagpole. You want to go overhand. So to recap, overhand grip, wide stance, bars above, you know, in front and above your head, pull, push 90. Shoulder, hip, back foot, pivot. Okay. And the bar stays diagonal. Here, here, here give me shoulder. 
See? No. Yes. Notice my front foot. It's flat. Toes to heel with a little tilt. Okay. And back heel is up and back toes pointing straight forward. Okay. So when you go back, rock the hip forward, swing the arms back. And notice that when I swing my arms, I, I swing it you know, on the side of my, of my right shoulder. I don't swing it over my head. Okay. Keep it always on the side. With the flagpole, we are working the diagonal orbit. Okay. Right here. See how my, look at the, my arm swing. My arm swing can, can show you that orbital, uh, motion, which is diagonal right here. It's a pattern. It's a, it's an orbit that relates to throwing. 